queens, I hope you're all having a great day. Now let's go to Olivia with the weather. Hey Bruins, it's your brother girl Olivia. Today we'll have a high of 89 and a low of 64, and it'll be mostly sunny with a light breeze. Tomorrow we'll have a high of 85 and a low of 67, and it'll be mostly cloudy. Back to you. Thanks, Olivia. The weather's been kind of perfect. I'm really enjoying it. Now let's go to Brianna with the lunch. Hey everyone, I'm your lunch lady here with tomorrow's lunch and today's national day. Today's national pecan day and for tomorrow's lunch you'll have four cheese pepperoni pizza, bacon burger mac and cheese, steamed broccoli, assorted fruit, and low fat milk. That's all for me today. Have, have a wonderful Wednesday everyone. Bye. Thanks Brianna. Lunch sounds great. Now let's go to Nicole with a dad joke. Hi guys, Nicole here. Back to today's dad joke. What did the mouse say to the other mouse when he tried to steal his cheese? That nacho cheese. <laughs> Thanks, Nicole. Now let's go to Anjali with SEL. Hey, Bruins. It's Anjali with today's SEL. For the SEL for today, act with purpose. When you make the decision to do something, think about the action you are about to take. Is this action taking me in a positive direction or a negative direction? Stay on the positive path and take steps be towards reaching your goals. Have a great day. Thanks, Anjali. And remember, Bruins, it's always important to take the positive path. Now let's go to Juliana with the poem. Hey Bruins, it's me Juliana and I have a request for a poem. It's called Phenomenal Woman by Maya Angelou. Pretty woman wonder where my secret lies. I'm not cute or built to suit a fashion model's size. But when I start to tell them, they think I'm telling lies. I say, it's in the reach of my arms, the span of my hips, the stride of my step, the curl of my lips. I'm a woman, phenomenally. Phenomenal woman, that's me. Now you understand just why my head's not bowed. I don't shout or jump about, or when I have to talk real loud. When you see me passing, it ought to make you proud, I say. It's in the click of my heels, the bend of my hair, the palm of my hand, the need for my care, because I'm a woman, phenomenally. The phenomenal woman, that's me. Bye, Bruins. I hope you enjoyed that poem. Back to you. Thanks, Juliana. That poem went deep. Now let's go to Sophie with What's Happening. Girl Power! What's up, everybody? I'm Sophie here with What's Happening. Um, it is National Dolphin Day, and it is also Look Up at the Sky Day, but don't look at the sun. Thursday is Skittles meeting um, for A and C lunch. A through C lunch. And then um, Friday is for D and E. Book fair is next week, and here are a couple videos with books that will be there. Now back to you. Hi, I'm Alan Gratz, the author of Ground Zero. September 11th was a brilliant fall day in New York City. The sky was bright blue, it was cloudless, the air was crisp. It was a gorgeous day. Ground Zero is the story of the September 11th, 2001 terrorist attacks. It's told from the point of view of two different kids. The first is nine-year-old Brandon, he is in the North Tower of the World Trade Center on September 11th when the first plane hits. He has just gotten into the elevator and he's about 20 floors away from the top of the building when boom, the whole building shakes. A plane has flown into the building just above him and now Brandon has to try and figure out how he is going to survive and see if he can save his dad. The other story that's woven in with Brandon's is that of Reshmina. She is 11 years old, she lives in Afghanistan, and she is suffering through her own version of 9-11 in the present day as her village becomes a battleground between the United States and the Taliban who are still fighting a war in Afghanistan because of what happened on September 11, 2001. For years, young readers have been asking me to write a book about 9-11. The way it impacted me and almost every American that I know it's made 9-11 really difficult to, to think about and talk about and remember. Brandon and Reshmina are two kids who believe they are strong enough to meet any challenge, and they are strong characters. But what they learn is that sometimes the world is too much for you to deal with on your own. And what you have to do is you have to find friends, you have to find allies, you have to come together as a community and overcome challenges together. Everybody remains strong individually, but sometimes we need help. And, and that's really, I think, one of the ultimate messages of Ground Zero is that it's not, it's not me against the world. It's, it's all of us working together 
to overcome everything that the world can throw at us. Look for my book, Ground Zero, at your Scholastic Book Fair. We found Rover chained to the side of the road with a blindfold over his eyes and tape around his muzzle. We couldn't just leave him there, so my family and I brought him home. I don't know why the person who abandoned Rover was so mean. All he wants is a friend, and what Rover wants, Rover gets. Play Dead with Red Rover at your Scholastic Book Fair. And while you're there, check out Fear Zone 2. Thanks, Sophie. I'm going to let you guys on in a little secret. Greg is actually a dolphin. And keep your eyes open at the book fair. You might just see Greg pop up there. You never know. He's a... He's a celebrity, so you can ask for his autograph too. Maybe he'll give it to you. Now let's go to Dariana with the Going Green Tip. Hey everyone, I'm here with Going Green Tip. Today is National Garden Day. Another thing you can do to go green is start a small garden. I would definitely do that, make the house smell good. Now back to you. All right guys, so Greg is going through an identity crisis, but I think it's kind of iconic. Have a wonderful Hello. day, Bruins. <laughs>